legs to the right, 385. The nose to the left, 55. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. We have done it. After more than 50 years of struggle, a battle centuries in the making has been won. We have earned the right to put a simple cross on a piece of paper. Women have won the right to vote. My name is Florence Hill. I'm old now, but the journey we have taken is still clear in my mind. It started with a small group of women and a simple question. You mean, should women be able to vote in a general election? Well, I really don't know. The Kensington Society discussed and debated and decided that... Yes, you're right. Something should be done. Something should be done. But what? If you could collect 100 names... Mr John Stuart Mill was a Member of Parliament who believed in equal rights for all races, the poor and, yes, women. If we had sufficient support, he agreed to fight for us in the House of Commons. And so a petition was organised. My sister asked... Do you believe it will do any good? It must, Rosamond, however long it takes. How can it be right that half the world has no say in how it is governed? That we women can run a home and bring up children, we can teach and do all kinds of useful work, but we cannot choose who represents us in Parliament. This petition must change our country and set us on the road to fairness and justice for all. There was no time to lose. The message was carried across the land and sea. Some brave women signed despite their friends' or family's disapproval. The votes for women? What next? A woman disgracing herself in Parliament? A, a woman Prime Minister? But our supporters were determined. We needed 100 names. We collected over 1,500. And so the petition went to Parliament. Let us replace the word man in our bills with the word person, yeah, so yeah, that women no. may have the opportunity to fully participate. The vote was lost. 73 for, 196 against. So we've lost a vote. We haven't lost the argument. Justice is on our side, and so we fight on. Other groups were formed across the country. People were becoming convinced, but it was slow, hard work. We needed a change in the law, and we women had no vote to bring about that change. Over the next 52 years, Parliament received more than 16,000 petitions. There were speeches, marches, protests and debates across the land. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. We have done it. What started with a question and a humble petition in 1866 has led, more than 50 years later, to a turning point in British history. And now it is election day, and I am going out. Out to vote.